Okay, let us try and draw this part, which is a 3D body that I have right here. So I'm going to be moving back and forth because I have three monitors. I have my camera here, I have Autodesk here, and I have a third monitor where I'm going to have my windows for my options and my layers and my units, etc. So we're going to be drawing this part. So go ahead and the first thing is we're going to do File, Open, New, and choose units. The units are going to be in millimeters because I'm going to be measuring my part in millimeters. So remember that for that, you go to units, uh, choose millimeters, and OK. Or when you start, choose your, your units. Uh, you want to make sure that you were able to change your settings by just drawing something and um, clicking on F2. So when you go to drawing units, we, we've done this before. Uh, it's telling you that you are in millimeters, right? Number three is millimeters. Okay. So uh, the first thing we want to do is set the units. The second thing is we want to go to our coordinate system and do a uh, circle. We're going to set zero and zero. And we're going to do a diameter of a diameter of, let's do, 14.2 or 14 because we're going to do uh, a cylinder first and we're going to do the helix later. So actually let's talk about what we want to do here first. So if you notice this part right here is has a combination of, of objects. So first we have a cylinder, we have a disc which is this part right here and then we have a polygon with six sides then we have a cut which consists of two rectangular shapes cutting through the head of the screw and the first thing we're going to do is create the cylinder from extruding a circle and the dimensions of the circle were uh, 14 millimeters okay so we go to view and symmetric view and we are going to extrude or cylinder for 40 millimeters okay so basically that is the, the size of our um, screw okay now we have the first thing which is the cylinder let's go ahead and do our layer situation here. Let's organize our layers. We're going to do a new. Well, let's name this part. We're going to rename it. As, oh, there you go. Cylinder. Cylinder, and that is going to be the color of the cylinder is going to be gray. Then we're going to do uh, helix, and the color is going to be yellow. So we can have all the parts in a different layer. Then we're going to do uh, disk. And that color will be red. And we're going to have a polygon. And that color will be green. All right, lastly, we're going to have a zero, or actually, we can create a new one just construction curves. And that is going to be white. Okay. So I'm going to move my window to my other monitor. There. Okay. So now we can move this to our cylinder um, layer. 
Now we're going to create a helix, and for that we go to the command line and we simply type helix and we follow the, the commands or the requirements. So first we're going to choose a point. Here I'm going to show you a random helix and then we're going to build it on top of the cylinder. So after you choose a point, we're going to ask you for a diameter, then we're going to ask you for a second diameter, and that is because if you choose a different diameter, we'll create Say you choose a smaller diameter, it will create a cone. You choose the same diameter for the endpoint, it will just basically be a cylinder. So let's say 10. And there you have it. You, know, you can specify how tall or just simply put a number down. Or you can change the number of turns. Actually, if you go to, after you create a helix, and you go to properties, and number of turns, you can change that to whatever you want. Okay. All right, so now we're going to do the same thing, but we're going to do the helix on top of the, or around the cylinder. So let's go ahead and do um, the center, the joint center. Let's choose the snap of node. And let's see if we can choose that just with that creator or object. So type helix again and specify center and in that case, we can specify this center. Then we're going to put a radius or diameter of 14. Then we're going to specify a second diameter of 15, 14. Sorry. And then we're going to do uh, half of. 40. Okay. So let's see if, if we indeed cut our helix or not, because I don't see it. So let's go. Ahead. Yeah, we did. So let's go ahead and do a three. Choose three solid. Click on the three solid and go to isolate and hide objects. There you go. Oh, we did something wrong here. Okay. Well, let's do it again. So helix. The center is going to be 0, 0. Then we're going to have 14, 14, and 14 again. Yes, and then 40. Okay, enter. All right, now we didn't specify the number of turns, so we can go to properties, right click, properties number of turns, which I forget how many turns. So we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. Number of turns, we're going to say 12. Okay. That's good. So this is just the curve, right? It's a helix. Now we have to extrude the thickness of the thread, which is about uh, two millimeters and about um, there's a tool actually to measure this but uh, two millimeters and this is gonna be around Two twenty-five by two, maybe. So I don't have a tool to measure that very easily, but um, okay. So one thing we're gonna do now is move this curve to a uh, construction curve. You'll see why. So move that construction and isolate, hide object, or hide the layer, whichever it's easier for you. Okay, so what we're going to do now is we're going to go to the plane where we can extrude across or through the helix. And that is under solid on the sweep. Okay, so it creates a 3D solid from a surface. So the first thing we, we need to do if you follow the instructions is create a curve and a cross section. But the cross-section needs to be on a plane. So when you go back to home, 
to home tab click on this view x y plane okay that is going to align the plane where you can um, the working plane on your um, with your endpoint okay so now what we can do is do our our section so we're going to do a line of let's say with ortho on with 125 let's say just two because i don't think that was oh, that wasn't very easy to measure like that and then okay and then let's create another line we're going to need a construction line which is in the middle of on the midpoint of that line and it's going to be ortho back on it's going to be one point enter and then we're gonna do repeat line and we're gonna do um, close the line okay now we're gonna get rid of this construction line and we're gonna choose this object Click this object. You don't need to click on shift. You just need to click on those objects. And then you're going to join them all. So now you have a single object. Okay. Now we're going to move this object. Enter. And the middle point to this endpoint. So zoom in and put it on this endpoint. Okay. So now we have the section and the curve check the options again and we have to check for uh, first is the object and then is the curve so we go to solid sweep first is the object enter then is the curve there we go so now when we go to a top view we have our threads and at, the, at this point we're ready to go back to our world view where we go back to our original um, isometric view and then we can click through through different views to check our, our model so if you go to front Okay, and of course you can just check, um, you can edit this shape to be as um, custom as you need it. So if you, if you need it to be a, a circular shape, if you need it to be a, with a larger point which has a sharper angle, then you can just basically create a triangular shape right there. Okay, but that's the concept, that's you, how you create the helix. Now we can click on the objects and show everything so if you see we have created our cylinder and we have created our helix so so far we have our cylinder which is on this layer and you have your Helix, which is on this layer. 